What's up Chiefs Kingdom, Noah Gray here, tight end for the Kansas City Chiefs. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to Joss's channel and check out showmefootball.com for more. What is up Chiefs Kingdom, welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Josh Fan of showmefootball.com and arrowheadaddict.com. And I'm a little late to the party on this, but yesterday the Kansas City Chiefs signed New York Giants, now former New York Giants wide receiver, Richie James to a one-year deal. I don't consider this to be a big move. Uh, the reason that I wanted to make a video talking about the Richie James signing is mostly because I feel like I need to explain a little bit to Chiefs Kingdom what this move actually means for the Chiefs as far as wide receiver goes and the outlook for the position and just the magnitude of this signing. But first, let's talk a little bit about Richie James. So, Richie James had a breakout season for the New York Giants this past season where he had 57 catches for 569 yards and four touchdowns. James was a seventh-round pick by the San Francisco 49ers in the 2018 draft, and over his career, James has 95 catches for 1,258 yards and just seven total touchdowns. He was never really that big of a factor until this year for the Giants where Again, he had his breakout season, pretty solid year, just under 600 yards and four touchdowns. You know, he proved to be a solid player in that New York pass catching room. Additionally, James is someone that can return kicks and punts, and he has since he's entered the league for both the 49ers and the Giants. And that's uh, an important aspect of this move is the Chiefs needed someone to be kind of bottom of the wide receiver depth chart that could handle more responsibility being the main returner because Sky Moore was kind of a disaster as a returner last year as a rookie and we do think that he is going to take on a bigger role in 2023 and if that's going to be the case then it seems the Chiefs would maybe take him off of doing returns for right now and then there's Isaiah Pacheco too who was the Chiefs main kick returner we think he's going to be running back one next year and if that's the case then you probably don't want him returning kicks so Richie James could step in and be a contributor on special teams. But I wanted to talk about this move a little bit more because Chiefs fans are trying to dissect this. You know, what does this mean? Is this our big wide receiver move? You know, what does the signing of Richie James mean? I think a lot of Chiefs fans are desperate for us to address wide receiver. And I get that. And I also am concerned about wide receiver because we just don't have a lot there right now. Uh, and Chiefs fans would like a veteran option if we were going to get a veteran that, you know, can maybe compete to be our wide receiver one. And Richie James isn't going to be that. But a lot of fans are kind of concerned because they're like, is this our big free agent move at wide receiver? You know, Richie James, who is this? And Richie James is going to come in here, and he's basically your Justin Watson replacement. He's wide receiver five. He's going to be battling for one of the last wide receiver spots. But he's probably an upgrade over what you might have had at wide receiver five or wide receiver six that the chiefs keep six wide receivers. Um, that, that's what Richie James does. He's someone that you know, was asked to do a lot for the giants this past year. Um, Kenny Galladay didn't work out for them. They traded Kadarius Tony. They had Sterling Shepard get hurt. And Richie James was a guy that emerged as giants wide receivers started to go down and he produced in the role that he was asked to step into, and that's a good sign for Richie James and his career, and that's how he was able to land a contract with the Kansas City Chiefs. But I, I saw Matt Verderam, uh, who I'm a big fan of and um, did the Arrowhead Attic podcast. He's now with Sports Illustrated, but he said that this is essentially the McCole Hardman replacement. That's not what I see it as because McCole Hardman is someone that had a bigger role than Richie James when he was here, at least in my opinion. I think Richie James is more of your Justin Watson replacement. He can come in, make some surprisingly good plays. He's going to pop up out of nowhere and make a clutch play for the Chiefs. He's going to be one of your bottom wide receivers, but he's a bottom wide receiver that can actually play a little bit, unlike most other you know, bottom four or five receivers on other teams that are mostly just there for their special teams. And don't get me wrong, Richie James is here for his special teams, but he is someone that I think has earned a little bit more respect than that. He he can play a little bit, and he has really good speed too. That's another thing about him. That's what makes him a good punt and kick returner because he's a speedy guy. So I like the signing of Richie James. He's not going to be expected to take on this big role, but 
if the opportunity presents itself for Richie James and something happens, uh, you like what he can do a little bit, and he can come in and help in an emergency. Like if MVS got hurt or Tony got hurt, um, which isn't out of the realm of possibility, especially for Tony, uh, Richie James could at least give you something there. But the signing of Richie James doesn't keep the Chiefs from drafting a wide receiver high in the draft or anything, and I think a lot of people are uh, – they got a little bit concerned about that when the Chiefs signed James or they struggled to see what the point of the signing was. This isn't the Chiefs' big answer at wide receiver. I believe they're going to draft a wide receiver high in this draft. If they don't, well, then we'll be talking about that for sure. But, you know, at this point, you weren't going to be getting anyone in free agency that was really a big needle mover. Uh, D Hop isn't a free agent. I know a lot of people will say D Hop. He's not a free agent, though. And OBJ looks like he's going to be a Jet at the time of making this video. So, I don't know. The Chiefs, they were reportedly interested in him, but also we have no idea what he's going to look like coming back from his now torn ACL for the second time, and he hasn't played football in a calendar year. But Richie James gives the Chiefs a solid option. He's going to be battling for wide receiver five or six with Justin Ross, John Ross, those guys. Um, And he can do a little bit of special teams too. But this doesn't keep the Chiefs from trying to improve the wide receiver position if they wish to do so. and definitely doesn't keep them high from – uh, drafting a wide receiver high in the draft. But that's all I got for this video, guys. I just kind of wanted to talk about this move a little bit, break it down for you. Hopefully this helps if you guys were confused by the signing a little bit. Um, but Richie James, he's going to be competing in camp with everybody else. He'll have a good shot to make the team, and we'll see what he does. But those are my thoughts on the Richie James signing. I want to hear from you guys, though, what your thoughts are, if you have any, um, if you agree, disagree with me, anything like that. Let's talk about it in the comments. But with all that being said, make sure you like, share, and subscribe so more Chiefs fans can find this. And make sure you check out my work on showmefootball.com and arrowheadaddict.com where I should have some stuff rolling out soon. But, yeah, that's all I got, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Go Chiefs!